So this whole time we were talking after we were so this whole time we weren't so when is the right time to tell him when he brings that up that I don't like Jared? Oh hell no! Oh. I like Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia George and I am back with another video. Um, this video is gonna be really fun and just super, super chilled, you know, because I'm just going to expose myself and uh, we're going to just spill the tea in terms of how to know when he's really just not that into you. I know it's Valentine's month because we're in the month of February, we're in the month of love, yada, yada, yada. But I feel like I should have watched this video um, when I, oh my God. When I decided to go out and explore and talk to, to, to guys and you know, just get out into the scene, I should have watched this video. Okay, so we're gonna run through it really quick. Um, you're gonna learn a lot about me and let's just get right to it. Okay, everyone get a cup of tea. Tea, milk, what, I don't know what you guys drink, whatever you wanna drink. Number one. Okay, so if he's not giving you the same energy that you're putting into it, if he's not giving you the same energy in terms of responses, so if you guys are messaging and he is, <laughs> oh my God, if, if he's responding to your messages really late, so like it's taking him days to respond and in these days to, to respond, the responses are like one words, like, okay, yeah, hey, cool. KK is worse when they even abbreviate it. KK or something like that. And it's taken him days. Honey, honey, he's, honey, he's just not into you, okay? He's just. <laughs> he's not into you, okay? Well, you're putting an energy saying, hey, how are you doing? How's your day? And you're responding back with him about the people you met, the food you ate, how you felt when you met, met certain people, the texture of the food that you were eating. I don't know, I don't know. If you're going into that much detail and he's not giving you the same energy back, he's not about it. And, we, and that's when we just need to, we need to pause, evaluate ourselves, and we move on, okay, we cut it. We move on, we got it, okay? Number two, when he doesn't make time for you. So let me explain this. So I have spoken to people who weren't necessarily in the UK. So there's differences. I've realized this is an international thing, okay? Your girl's has, oh They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Your girl here has been catching L's even on an international level, okay? Okay. Stop it. Get some help. Okay. Okay. You're talking to someone internationally. Okay, that's the time difference. But there should be a certain time of the day where both of you guys can plan to make phone calls or FaceTimes or whatever that will be okay for either party, you know? Or you could take turns. If the guy's not making time to plan those times to talk to you, he really doesn't like you. And it's worse like if it's in the UK. Okay, it's two hours in the day and that guy is saying that he can't be, he can't, he can't give you at least an hour, okay, an hour's a lot, 30 minutes during his day to call you, to speak to you, to build on the conversation that you guys are already having on text, he really doesn't like you. If someone really cares about you, they'll make the time, they'll make the effort because they want to build on that relationship, they want to hear your voice, they want they want that relationship, you know? You shouldn't be wanting, you shouldn't always be compromising your time and you shouldn't always be making time out of your day for him if he's not doing the same for you also. So yeah, that's number two. Number three, number three, number three would be if he is, oh, I need to. If, if he is 
hinting, okay, hinting that you talk to his friend or he's saying this person's also attractive. What do you think about this person? Da -da -da. One, it could be a sign of he's super insecure and thinks that you're really, really attractive and he doesn't think that you he meets your standards or whatever so he, he might it, it could be a sign of insecurity or he's just trying to pawn you off to his friends like oh you should talk to this person or you should talk to that person or this person got your number so it's like so this whole time we were talking i thought we were so this whole time we weren't so when is the right time to tell him when he brings that up that I don't like Jared. Oh hell no! Oh, I like oh my god! Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're ever in that situation, because your girl has been. Oh hell no! Yeah, Just cut it. He don't like you or he's super insecure and we don't want to be with men who are super insecure. It's it's just not an attractive trait. You constantly have to reassure them. We all have insecurities. It's not saying that it's a human thing. Like everyone has insecurities, but when you're so insecure to the extent that no matter how much your partner or someone who who says they care about you tries to reassure you if they can't reassure themselves how would they be able to receive someone from someone else do you know what i mean so we don't want that for i don't want that for you guys i don't want that for you guys so when it comes to you should talk to jared he wants your number we're not doing that he don't like you honey he's trying to play matchmaker he don't like you it's a cut we're kidding, we're kidding, we're kidding. Oh, I won't let you go. So, <laughs> if jealousy is not a good thing, <laughs> but if he doesn't get jealous or he's not, he doesn't seem that phased when other men are, are actively trying to approach you. That is a big sign that he doesn't see you as his and he doesn't want to see you as his. I'm just saying. If, if, if you are at a party, okay, and you guys came together and these guys are approaching you, asking for your number and stuff, and he doesn't feel the need to step a bit closer to you or to <coughs> any of that, and he's just turning the other cheek and he's talking to someone else. Honey, oh, hell that's no. a big sign. Oh, that whatever you thought this is, it's not it. It's, it's just not it. Oh, hell it's no. Not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you serious? I'm not. I'm not a jealous person. I, I try to not be, be I, I, I pride myself, like, I'm not a jealous person, okay? But, don't get me started, okay? If I'm out with my man and another girl is trying to talk, mm, honey, sorry. The thing is, I won't even need to be doing too much. I will just announce my presence, do a little shoulder like you know just touch his shoulder a little bit touch his hand like hello we are involved in this conversation this is a we this is a we thing because we are together now now you ain't no you weren't right we can have a conversation together because everything we do we do together you know what i mean a bit of that if the guy if if my guy's not showing me that type of energy that i would show him if we were going out <laughs> There's nothing else I can say. There's nothing else I can say. You don't like you like that. You don't like you. <laughs> you know, you don't like you. Okay? You don't like it. Five. <laughs> if he says he doesn't, he's super conflicted. So this is like a serious one. So, jokes is that. So if he says he's conflicted, even though he might have genuine feelings, I have the belief that if you really, really like someone, it shouldn't take you, if it if it takes too long for you to make a decision, 
that's the decision in itself. That's my personal belief. If it takes too long to make a decision, that's a decision. That's a decision in itself. If you're, if it's like, we're talking, but we've been talking for a year and you still don't know. I mean, there's, how much more talking can we get? Like, even a year is too long. After a few months, after three, maybe four months, you still don't know if you want to be interested in me or keep it as a friend thing because like if a guy's doing that to you girls he don't like you like that and he's gonna just end up wasting your time and i've taken a lot of l's so none of you guys need to take the l's okay let me take the l's for you and i'll come on here and tell you what i've learned so you you don't need to do that don't be me don't be me don't be a fool. Don't be a fool for love. Gotti. <laughs> Gotti. <laughs> don't be a fool, man. Because honestly, I don't think people realize that. And also, like, I have to check myself as well. All these things that I'm saying. I need to check myself to make sure that I'm never in a position where I do this to someone else. Yeah, because it's like, we've all, be, we've all been in positions where we've met someone, we thought they we liked them initially. And then getting to know them, we might not like them in that way, but still want to keep a friendship and how to be tactile with that. There's a way of going about it and not and going about it in a respectful way and still trying to minimize the effects of hurting that person because whether you like it or not you're going to hurt the person the way if they care about you and they're not getting what they want just be careful ladies friends just be careful that's like a general thing to like put ice on top but i took a lot of l's okay like Oh, let me put. Mm, 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 mm. If he calls you bro, sister of, of of Christ, any of that, he don't like you. That's just like a an ad. That's a five. Let's just put a six because we're good at it. let's make that a six. If it like straight friend zone, that's literally what I'm gonna call it. Like friend zone. That's what's happening here. Friend zone. If your friend zones you, some people can jump out the zone. A lot of people don't. Okay? Because I put some people in there. I don't know if they could jump out. I'm just saying. This That's the wrong number. Oh! Some people are feeling the friend zone mentally. I know they won't be able to jump out. That's me. That's me. So I put that on myself as well. So if someone friend zones me, I don't even try again okay? I don't even try not because I, I don't want to it's a lot of energy okay so if he's doing all of this sis bro 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 am I your brother what's this bro bro that we're not doing this I'm too cute to be anyone's bro okay no, no no we don't have to do that but if he's doing that just there <laughs> I mean, we're all brothers and sisters of the Lord. We are, yes, we are. We are. We are indeed. But not right now. Not, not what we're doing right now. Not what, what's happening right now in here. Okay? So, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And please, write down in the comments below some of the things that you guys have experienced um, in terms of hints, in terms of him not liking it like him so he's just not that into you just let me know down in the comments down below if you guys really like this video please give this video a thumbs up like this video and if you're new around subscribe to the channel okay you can't be watching this stuff for free okay <laughs> subscribe to the channel and my details are down below all right thank you so much i'll talk to you later friends bye